Hi, this is Nell with Joyous Garden, and today I'm going to show you my latest plant crush. It's the member of the Bromeliad family, and it is Cryptanthus or Earth Star. It's a little low growing Bromeliad, which is great for shady areas. And here is the cryptanthus I'm talking about, the plant crush. Here's the flower, it's actually in flower. And here's, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to take a pup off. Here's one of the pups. And you just kinda of give it a twist. And it just came off. And there it is. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to this pup to get, to get it ready to heal off so it can go back and be planted inside. I'm going to tear off the lower leaves. And some of them I'm, I may need to cut because this is a little brittle right here. Fragile, I guess. It'll break off. Easy. So I'm just tearing off the lower leaves so I have some stem to stick it into the soil after it heals off. And uh, as I said, I'm going to let it heal off for at least a month. I'm going to take off that one and then I'll take off this one too. And so then I'm going to cut this at an angle because I twisted it off the plant. So I'm going to cut, oops, I'm going to cut it right there. I'll clean this cut up afterwards. And there we have it. It's just cut at an angle and then I will be ready in a month or two to just stick it in the soil and it'll root away and I'll have a new plant because there's an area in my garden where I, I want to do a lot of these an under planting it's a area under a tree so these are gonna do just great and here are two pups I took off about a couple months ago and this, they were both in the house. I had them healing off. And this one has been out a few weeks longer. So you can see it has a lot more of the pink color. It was in a little bit of a dark um, spot in my house. It wasn't getting a lot, of, uh, a lot of light. So this one is green. It's been outside for about a week now. I'm actually gonna give this to Lucy, who's behind the camera. And as you can see, it's starting to turn pink a bit. And what I did is I simply potted them in a very loose potting soil. You can either use a succulent mix or any mix that drains really well because bromeliads are epiphytes, which means they grow on other plants and the rain just washes off. So you don't want to really wet this or really keep it too damp. And you, you want to keep the water in, in the cup there. Or just give it a little spritz every once in a while. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel because we post videos on a regular basis. And be sure to check out our website at joyousgarden.com.